What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we are continuing with the simple building system and this video will go ahead and make sure that we can go ahead and scroll through all of our buildables. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. Alright, so first of all let's go into our BBC build system component and let's open this up. So let's go up here when we begin uh, the play and as you may know in the last video we made our database with all of our build parts so what we're going to be doing is saving all of this database in a variable in our build system component so we can uh, use them so let's go ahead and you say get data table row uh, names i'm going to go ahead and just get our dt build parts then what to do is do a for each loop of this and then we're going to do is do a get row a table row okay so basically we are right now going ahead and going through all the different rows in the database table and then getting in a specific row and we're going to go ahead and save it as a variable so what we're going to do is just go ahead add a new variable and this will be our uh, build build doubles um this will dt underscore uh buildables okay so we know it's our data table this will be our s underscore uh buildables or yeah build parts and then what to do is just drag it and make sure that this is an array because it's going to be a list so let's press change there we go and now what we can do is just add the new one that was found so now we don't have to manually go ahead and add of our variables into this variable it will automatically get all the information from our uh, data table which is going to be much much better so another thing i'm going to do is go ahead and get the buildable index and this will be an integer and let's change this back to single the thing is that right now we're going to be changing uh, which build, build uh, model we're going to be building and we're going to be uh, identifying them by the index so this index will increase or decrease so what we're going to do is go into our uh, let's go just down here and what to do is just go ahead and right click and just uh, do the um, mouse wheel scroll up and down in this case for example down right uh, so on here what we're going to do is get our billable index all right and basically go ahead and do a clamp integer the thing is that uh, we want to keep it in a specific value when we go and put the mouse wheel down we're going to go ahead and just add one okay so it will go up one the minimum will be zero and the max will be uh, the total length of this um specific uh, sorry the, the total length of the array minus one okay that's what it's going to be uh so let me just get the uh, oh this is already the length sorry and this will be minus one with that we are ready to put this into the max put this here and now what we can do is set the new building index so i will go ahead and keep uh, in its range so from zero to the max variables and then add one let's also just copy uh paste this and this will be mouse wheel down okay i'm gonna do the same thing so again clamp it copy this save it in this case the max will be exactly the same one okay so we can even move it a bit up and but in this case the this one will be instead of adding one it will be minus one because now going the other way and now that will be the value minimum will be still be that and now great we can go ahead and with the mouse we'll go and increase our build index or decrease it so we'll be changing which biddable we have right now selected okay in this case so what we are going to be doing is go up into where we place our static mesh and everything and on here we're going to do is get our buildables so you get a copy in this case, the copy will be our building index. So we are basically accessing a specific buildable from all of our, uh, you know, trace table. And then we can just go ahead and just uh, break the building parts. Uh, we're gonna just get the mesh and plug it 
in there. So now you'll see that when I press play, I go and press B, uh, I can go ahead and change through the uh, billables. Right now I only have two of course, so nothing really happens. And as you can see, it will only update um, while you know I'm, I press B again and to disable it or enable it because, uh, well this is the loop, sorry. Um, but of course this only you know done once and it's only uh, reset it uh, when we call this which reset build is called over here okay so when we press B so uh, first of all let's add a new billable so we have everything a bit more controlled so in this case uh, we have also the floor and the window okay uh, so let's yeah, let's, let's make a new one. So the one missing is the uh, window and wall, right? Yeah. So go ahead and just duplicate. Uh, well, just make a new child, okay, from the master, new child class, and this will build underscore uh, wall. Let's open this one. Change the build mesh to be the wall, and. There you go and even though it will be assigned later on there um, it's nice to have it as a preview in the blueprint too because the mesh will update later but just in case it's better to have it out there too now let's go ahead and make another child and this will be built underscore uh, window i think it was i don't even, even remember yeah window okay and let's open up the window and change this to be our window and i guess it's this one doesn't really matter right now but here we go great and now let's go into our data table the wall let's assign that blueprint which is the uh, wall and then for our window let's do exactly the same select our window okay so now we have referenced that another thing I'm going to do is go down here and do exactly the same thing that we did here so let's copy uh, this few nodes and paste it here and put it with our blueprint so we know that we are going to be spawning that class because right now if I go and press play go and select the uh, other stuff now I can go ahead and build the wall but before I was gonna be a floor <laughs> okay so now we have it go ahead and correctly set up uh, so we still have to go ahead and update it um, so we can like uh, while we're building we can uh, pass through them and this is because of the do ones node and so on so we'll go ahead and sort that down in the next video so with all that said if you found this video helpful or really appreciate it, you could like the video and subscribe to the channel i also have unreal engine factors profiles will be available on my patreon youtube members join my discord server follow me on my socials now yes plus said bye bye